Greetings, life runners around the world. Happy Labor Day. We labor every day for an end to abortion. And wow, we've kicked off the largest spanning pro-life event in the world. On August 26th, we kicked it off from the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, from St. Michael the Archangel Church in North Dakota, from the San Fernando Cathedral in San Antonio, Texas, and from Times Square in New York City. So check out those images on this update. And wow, you know, we went out there, Bernadette and I joined up with a bunch of great pro-life New Yorkers, and we walked from the Manhattan Planned Parenthood three miles for the first leg of the East Arm to Times Square. And you can about imagine what that looked like. Two big Remember the Unborn banners strolling through the streets of New York City and then there in Times Square, there at Father Duffy Square, a big statue of a Catholic priest who was a heroic priest in World War I. So it's launched and here we are in day 10. You might be wondering, where's the relay right now? Well, the relay is in Nevada for the West Arm. It's in Minnesota for the North Arm. It's still in Texas. Texas is big and it's a big pro-life state. The South Arm is still in Texas. And then that East Arm has already made it to Maryland on this 10th day of our 43-day relay across America. The largest spanning pro-life event in the world. 5,359 miles, 1,528 5K legs. That adds up to 12 million steps with this message that we carry on our back to do exactly that, remember the unborn. So hopefully that gets everyone pumped up, inspired, encouraged to wear your witness this Wednesday, the first Wednesday of the month, when all 21,619 life runners in 3,367 cities across 45 nations, we all put this shirt on to wear our witness on the first Wednesday of every month. So praise God, post a picture when you're wearing your shirt. It, be an influencer that way. Influence people to see the cross as we pick up our cross and follow him through the power of the Holy Spirit, which propels us forward to speak that truth, to encourage each other. And it is encouraging. And the biggest group we want to encourage is the message on the back, what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do for our Lord and Savior. And that message, Remember the unborn, 78% of post-abortion women said all they need was an encouraging sign or a message. Well, life runners, we're an encouraging person with an encouraging sign. Be that billboard for life walking through the grocery store. Be that inspiring person in someone's life that just needs a tap on the shoulder of encouragement. So we're your witness this Wednesday. God bless you. And I'm going to give an all in Christ and you give a four pro-life wherever you're at. Wherever you're at right now, give a loud and thunderous four pro-life. All in Christ, four pro-life. All in Christ, four pro-life. God bless you.